By now, you've learned about the successes and some of the shortcomings of Dwight D. Eisenhower. Now, I'm willing to bet that when you guys at the beginning of this lesson listed your top four presidents of all time, most of you probably didn't have Eisenhower, which to some could be surprising because he was actually a very popular president. Throughout his presidency, Americans trusted him, they liked him, he kind of had like a grandfather presence to his presidency where Americans trusted him. So why don't we remember him? And I think a lot of that has to do with an event that occurred at the very end of his presidency. So at the end of his presidency, in the spring of 1960, we had U-2 spy planes flying over the Soviet Union. Now these are high altitude planes and their job is not to attack, their job is simply to take pictures of what's going on in enemy territory. So what are they doing? Well, they're spying on the Soviet nuclear program. So we had one of these planes that was shot down. And when it was shot down, we thought that the pilot had died. In fact, the pilot, who was instructed to commit suicide and take a poison pill if he was shot down rather than be captured by the Russians, he was captured. And they questioned him. And he admitted that he had been spying on the United States, or it's spying on the Soviet Union for the United States. Well, Khrushchev, who was the leader of the Soviet Union, he asked Eisenhower point blank, were you spying on us? What's up with this plane that we shot down? And Eisenhower lied to Khrushchev, lied to the international community, and lied to the American people, and said that the plane had got lost, and that it was not spying. We had no idea that they had captured the pilot, and he admitted that he had indeed been spying. So this came back, and it looked really bit bad on Eisenhower. First of all, because he had lied to the Soviet Union, and they knew it. Second of all, because he had lied to all of our allies. And maybe most importantly, he had lied to the American people. And that event kind of left a bad stain at the end of the presidency of Dwight D. Eisenhower. I think a lot of this can be looked at as sometimes it doesn't matter how you start, it matters how you finish. I remember back to when LeBron James played for the Cavs in his first run, and he would have MVP seasons, and he would play great throughout the regular season, but he wouldn't play very good during the NBA Finals. In fact, if you were listening to the commentary on ESPN, they used the word that he choked in the NBA Finals. So what did they look at, at for LeBron James before he won an NBA championship? They kind of looked at him like a guy who didn't show up when it mattered most. In other words, he played great at the beginning of the season, but he didn't finish strong. Sounds terrible, but probably the best way to be remembered in a favorable light as an American president is to die when you're in office. I'm willing to bet that a lot of you guys, when you've ranked your top four presidents, you have Abraham Lincoln. You have FDR, and you have JFK. These guys have significant differences as presidents and as people. But what is one thing that they all have in common? They died while they were serving as president of the United States. So that will end our, our lesson today. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other.